Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Soul Work. I'm your host, Jenny Cousins, and thank you again, everybody, for tuning in live on Shaw TV. And as usual, you have probably noticed that there is a saxophone here, and that would explain <laughs> <laughs> why I have my guest on. And my guest tonight is Oliver Miguel. <laughs> Hi, Jenny. How are you, Oliver? Great. Well, so it's usual for you to have a saxophone, you're saying? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's a normal thing. We just like it on set. That's beautiful. So I had to have you on the show. Thank you I've, for inviting me. I really appreciate oh, it. Oh, of course I had to have you on the show. And I know you've been very, very, very busy. Yeah. Life just takes over sometimes. It does. I'm unlucky. It, it does, actually. And I know you have lots of exciting stories to share, of course. However, um, can you tell our viewers a little bit about yourself, where you came from? Well, my, my name is Oliver Miguel, and I was born and raised in, in a skinny little country in South America named Chile, yeah. where they offer some of the your favorite wine. Oh, my best favorite wine. <laughs> Los Dios, anybody finds that wine here, <laughs> inbox me, please. Yeah, Jenny is just telling us about her favorite wine. and oh. Yeah, so I was born and raised there. My family immigrated to Canada when I was about 10 years old, and... And we um, are very lucky to be here in this beautiful country. And since we've all become Canadian citizens and proud to, to be one. Exactly. Be so what drew you into playing? M music. Well, my father is a music addict. I would call him a music addict. And he um, pushed me into, into music. Uh, at wow. the age of 12, he asked wow. me to, uh, to play music. And... I, I said no, <laughs> and then uh, yeah. and then he he chose the saxophone. I did not choose it. Really? Yeah. And then uh, it helped. I was got grounded wow. quite regularly, so I would practice in my bedroom off when I was grounded. And oh, yeah, <laughs> you must have been bad because well, you're very good. At it. <laughs> I guess so. Yeah, I guess so. For for a portion of my teens. Wow. So, whenever you were kind of forced to play it, really. Um, did you just automatically find that you just really connected with the saxophone? Yeah, I, I don't recall yeah. my family or my parents or my father especially yeah. ever telling me to go practice. Uh, not once, yeah. for sure. And I mean, although I may have sounded like a duck the <laughs> first duck. day yeah, and, the, yeah. and the saxophone was larger <laughs> than me. It was, I was a skinny little kid and the saxophone went down to almost my, I bet below it. my knees. And so it... Uh, I just loved it. Yeah, I did wow. love it right away, and, and I would, like I said, practice it for hours and hours at first. Yes, because you can tell. I mean, I've, I've heard you play, and just before I forget, um, Os uh, Oliver has a couple of CDs. <laughs> and um, now you've got two CDs here, right? Which one was your first one? So the one you're in your right hand is Esperanza, which is uh, Hope in Spanish. Right. I released in uh, 2001, I believe, and... I was telling the story uh, earlier about a car accident that I had when I was uh, uh, 18, yeah. and um, pretty pretty serious accident, and and I couldn't play my saxophone for about a year. Right. And um, and it was kind of sad because I was accepted into a few very prestigious schools in USA for music, and um, I couldn't pursue that. Right. I had to put it on hiatus for a bit. But right. after this the settlement that I got from yeah. the car accident, I. I invested all of it into making my first album. Okay. And so I, this one. Yeah, okay. and I worked very hard uh, to, to get that one done. It was a wonderful experience. And then y some years later, I released the second one, and, and I'm currently working on my third one. You know, I just, I just saw, actually caught the first song. Believe it or not, I can see that far away. Um, it says, When Angels Cry. Mm -hmm. I just noticed that being your first um, song here. Does that have to do with your accident? Like why you named it that? No, it doesn't. No? But that's very interesting. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. The first song is yeah. a suite. It's a this three-part suite that okay. uh, that features some Calgary musicians that are no. Yeah. Uh, some of them are no longer in Calgary, as a matter of fact. Okay. Some of them are living all over the place in Canada. Wow. So yeah, those musicians have gone on to be wonderful musicians in their own right. Ex exactly, because you you do tours. I know you've been on tour. Yeah, I've worked with a few musicians and artists around the world and I've, I've had the privilege of following them and, and supporting them around um, as well as I even toured with the circus oh, 2006 yes, yes, yes. for like eight months I was on tour <laughs> with the circus uh, and <laughs> I was some people ask well what did you do in the circus because <laughs> they get the impression that I might be 
uh, entertaining people in other ways, but I actually played the saxophone <laughs> in the orchestra, and it was a wonderful experience, and, and I'm glad I did that. You, now, you have um, a oneness project. Can you share with our viewers what the oneness project is and what it's about? Yeah, the oneness project, uh, it started, well, it's interesting. It's, it actually, officially, the, the idea came about five years ago in 2010 when I released the, one of my albums. Right. There was a, a song, a lot of songs on that album, actually. I'm playing all the instruments, but you would yeah. only know if, if you were to read the credits. Okay. Um, so, but I made a video of one of the songs. I recorded it, and, and I put it out, and it's me playing a bunch of instruments. Now, that was a long time ago, and yeah. it was the idea that, in my mind, that one day when I have the next, enough experience and enough knowledge yeah. about cameras and sound and everything, yeah. that I will create this project. I have an idea, actually, but anyways, <laughs> go on. <laughs> <laughs> and then at the beginning of this year, I decided to pursue that and just, yeah. and just take the leap of, uh, yeah. of playing uh, cover songs and, and videoing them while I record them. And it features me playing a, a lot of instruments at the same time. Yes. And, and, and yes. I have a few videos that are special guests. Um, right now, we've done six uh, videos. And I'm actually today, or yesterday, I started working on my seventh Really? One. So yeah, wow. it's a lot of work. It's, it it's is. A, people ask me how long it takes me to make each yes. video, and it's approximately forty to sixty hours. Wow. So it's it's a very. Wow. Um, it's worth it though. Thank you, thank you, Jenny. Yes, because I saw I I saw some of them, and I liked the one with you and Amy Bishop. That was wonderful. Right. That's the, that's the one we did last month. And, yes. And Amy was a special guest, and she's a beautiful singer. If you don't know who she is, and yeah. you can check her out, and she's got a lot of CDs as well. And yeah. I have the privilege of playing with her regularly. Um, now for about eight years because uh, at the Center for Spiritual Living where I where I yes. play quite often yeah you, performing. you know you're there every Sunday usually yeah usually you know um, it's a really good place really good energy there so if, I mean it if is. you guys want to see all of her that's one to, way to do that's it. one way or on YouTube or on my website yeah, yeah. that I mean that's it's amazing because it's it's very good so are you like a full-time musician now of course right yeah I've been a full-time musician now for 15 years Wow. And I put myself through university playing music. Wow. Which is a, a kind of a gift and a blessing that I was able to do that and, and study music at Humber College in Toronto. And Okay. Yeah, that's where I studied. Wow. Very so what school. tours do you have coming up? Because I know well, we have, we have a, Yeah, we have a thing yeah. where we're planning to do a little retreat in, in the Caribbean next year. So we're doing that, uh, looking oh. into that, <laughs> uh, a writing uh, yeah. process and a kind of a artistic development thing and then we've applied for a couple of grants and uh, yeah. things are looking good and yeah there's lots of things happening and I know. Europe is in, in next year as well again it's we just did uh, Europe just a few months ago we were there wow. so yeah wow because I know you do like um, like events for corporations also and right yeah that's you know yes we do we do a lot of those and with various different bands like uh, party bands and Whatever the client, some some um, agents are very creative in what they need and want, and we go with it and, and provide a wonderful experience for, for yeah. companies and for corporate parties that sometimes can be a little bit, wow, you know, that we provide a little bit of fun and entertainment, and we yeah. do lots of weddings as well, and yeah. and yes, whatever, and we do TV shows. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of weddings. Uh -huh. Oliver's just gotten married as well. Ladies, sorry about that, but he's taken. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So congratulations Thank you on very that. much. I did you play at your wedding at all? Or? I did not. Oh, you did not? I did not, not play oh, okay. at my wedding, okay. no. But we had musicians there, yes. Wow. Playing at the ceremony and at the uh, reception. Wow. Yes. So you can do one-on-one -on -one weddings, right? Yeah. And all of that. And I know you were mentioning earlier, you, you were thinking about... Um, doing like a your life on music right right in, in a book with yeah it's a long long-term thing that yeah. I, I thought about i started thinking about that about 10 years ago as a matter of fact i was watching a couple of shows broadways and musicals in, in toronto right. and i remember getting the idea to one day pursue that and and the, yes the idea has not faded it's just oh no it's not ready yet it's not ready. gonna happen 
It's brewing. <laughs> it's and I have the... <laughs> yeah. It's going to brew all right. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I get ideas and, and, yes. and, and they come to light, like the Oneness Project, yes. which is going really well. I'm very grateful exactly. for the support that exactly. I've received. And, and I continue to work on it just for the pleasure of, of providing music for everyone to listen exactly. to. And it's, it's a huge learning exactly. experience for me. And I love doing it. I love it. Exactly. So let's say if somebody wanted to book you mm -hmm. or buy a CD, what's mm -hmm. the best way? Well, I guess my website would be the easiest. And There's what's your website? Um, OliverMiguel.com. <laughs> and maybe it's on the, you can write it down right here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. Now, just to let the viewers know. Yes. <clears throat> Oliver is staying the full show, by the way. Of course he is, right? And I know there's Thank viewers you. out there who would like to speak to Oliver and ask Oliver questions as well. And you all know I do my readings. So we're just going to take a short commercial break, Calgary. And that number is 403-539-6710. We will be right back after these messages. Tune in. Hang in. As Canadians, we have fought for others. We have fought to get here. And we never back down from a challenge. Today, we need you to fight again. Because in Canada, more people develop multiple sclerosis than anywhere else in the world. So, what will you do? Flee or fight? Hello everyone and welcome back to Soul Work. I'm your host Jenny Cousins and this is Soul Work on Shaw TV. And on tonight's show, my guest is Oliver Miguel. And as you can clearly see, he has a saxophone. And he is going to be playing a little bit of his saxophone towards the end of the show. And the phone lines are officially 100% open now, Calgary. So give us a call. And that number is 403-539-6710. We want to hear from you. So pick up that phone, or, or uh, Oliver is going to go round door to door. Oh, I'll just start serenading you. <laughs> oh, wow, that'd be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> the wine and everything. Oh, oh yes, oh, the yeah. wine. Absolutely, the wine. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. So as we're leading out of the show, he is going to play. Yeah, for sure. I don't Absolutely. Know you know, but I was telling you, like, you're saying the show is a little bit free, and I mean, that's good. In jazz music, which is what I mostly yes, specialize in, yes. that's what we do. We improvise a lot and, and just listen and, and feel other people's energy, energy. musically yes. on stage. It's the same thing, right? Because when you're playing, you're, you're, you're feeling the energy. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. Just it zooms in. Right. It's, it's like with me when I when I read people, I read their energy and their vibration. Right. It's like that's what I do. I zoom in on them. So it's like with your music, you're zooming in on the energy of the the vibration and everything. Right. And we do have a, a caller. <laughs> Great. Roberto. Roberto. Oh, that's better. <laughs> Maybe it's Roberto. I Maybe love Spanish. Rob. I love Spanish. <laughs> I want to learn Spanish. It's one of my favorite not too languages. Late. <laughs> okay, so Roberto, Oye, Roberto, no, Roberto. Yes, much better. Roberto, you have a question. Yes, I do. First of all, uh, good evening, everybody. Good evening. Um, uh, my question is in relation to uh, my career and how I have been affected by the unfortunate state of the economy. Uh, these days, of course, I've been. Uh, I was laid off last year, so I've been unemployed for slightly over a year now. And I was wondering if you, I could get some information as to what my career looks like from here onwards, how soon uh, could I get back to work 
and uh, also in what direction should I be going with that career? Yeah, actually, um, as soon as you started talking, because um, for me the voice is the soul that speaks, so then I start getting information come out. I actually heard Edmonton coming in for you for some reason. Um, and to be very, very honest with you, I, I really don't really feel that things are going to totally open up for you till springtime, right? I wish I could say it's now, right? But there's going to be an opportunity coming up for you, but it's not going to be for a little time yet, Roberto. I see you at a desk. It's almost like, what are you doing now? Like exactly what part are you doing? Uh, well, I was last time I was working in sales, but actually I was trained in uh, mechanical engineering technology and also electronics yeah. as well as automation and robotics. Yeah, because I so see I was, you like at a desk, right? Yes. Um, and I see you coming in and out, in and out, in and out. So if it depends what you want to do, right? Like in a situation like this, I would surrender it. But I hear Edmonton. Like if you want to kind of stay planted here in Calgary. Um, it's almost like it's you're you're going to have some difficulty if you did manage straight out only in sales. You might have a little bit coming up here for you. You might find a little something within three weeks, but it might kind of be kind of temporary. Yes. Right. Okay. Um, I don't see that being solid. To be very honest with you, but springtime I see things opening up for you a little better. But Edmonton is somewhere that might call you for some reason. I keep hearing that, and it's more desk job. Something more on the desk. And that's on the engineering side, you mean, or on the sales side? Um, I just see the desk. Like, I just see you sitting at okay. a desk. Yeah, so I'm not sure exactly what part that is. Okay. Yes. Yes, uh, part of the, the what I have been considering as well is, because things have been going not so well in, in terms of job search, is to actually start my own company uh, in something uh, um, in particular. But yeah, I'm, with I'm not sure how that's going to work out. No, um, I don't feel that's the right time. Like for you to be looking in all that avenue is good right now, but within two years, um, I feel that you're going to get more ideas sparking for that. You're going to meet more connections to bring that in for you. So, you know, that's just going to take a little bit of time for that, right? But open up your horizons. Um, and if you, you know, there's going to be another something coming up for you. And it's going to, if you're open, really, really, really open, and I would be open if I were you, things are going to shift for you in a different area. Okay. Yes. You're welcome. You're you're welcome. Right. Thanks. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> and we have another caller. That What's that? That was amazing. Oh, that's just what I do. I know. It's still amazing. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we have another caller. We do. Yes, we do. Maya, I think. Yes, we do. Hello, Maya. You got to mute your TV. Mute the volume. Hello, Maya. You got to mute your TV. Mute the volume. That's exactly why. It does the feedback. Yes. Yes, you got to mute your television set. Yes, yes. you got to mute your television set. Yes. Hello? Hello? <laughs> yes, so anybody who is calling in, just heads up that if you're calling in, to please mute your television. Because you're not going to hear me and I'm not going to hear you. Right? Technology. <laughs> I know, Technology. Interesting. Right? What about you when you play the saxophone? Well, there's is a lot of anything like involved in music nowadays? Yeah, it's always evolving, and, yeah. and because music is an art form, it will always evolve. I believe there's artistic people, creative people, yeah. pursuing music and those things, and and technology is is part of it, absolutely. And you can't avoid it. I mean, you can try, but it's it's good to embrace it and just keep your own values as well, like what it is that you're looking for for your sound. And some sounds are. You know, some people do exclusively electronic and, exactly. and technology and they're in the cutting edge of what's hip and what's out and some people are a little more traditional and organic and that's great too and there's, a, there's room for everybody. There is room for everybody. Are you going to, have you ever thought about teaching, um, you know, because I just saw that actually, so um, have you ever thought about teaching I others how to play sax? I have taught and I'm teaching a little bit now but not, not a lot. I have a no. few students that oh, I boy. teach and... Yeah. And uh, I love it. I love yes. I love giving back, especially when when individuals are very uh, into it and want it yeah. and, and 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 hungry for the the knowledge. I, I'm I always I'm very uh, willing oh, to give a lot yes. of information if they're if they're wanting yeah. to know. Yeah, because you'd be stuff. a good teacher. And I have I have taught. You, you would be a great you. teacher. Thank you. I did take some you classes know? on pedagogy and yeah. And um, I was able to teach, uh, even at Humber College, when I was in my fourth year, 
they, I, was a, I was a student teacher there for taught uh, first year wow. music theory, and I loved it. I love teaching at a high level. Oh yeah, it's very very fun, and 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 I don't only teach music. I love. I feel like in, all the time I'm always just giving out what my experience has been with this. Yes, and take it and do yeah. what you want with it, but. Yeah. You know, it's always good to pass on information if you have some. Yeah, no, that that's exactly right. Because I, I just saw kids around you. <laughs> a well. little boy kind of falling might be yours, mind you. Because <laughs> it kind of looks like you in a way. Really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> but, um, yes, so, I yeah, I would I could totally see you doing that. I, I would love to one day, yeah. One day yeah. maybe I'll, I'll, I'll settle yes. for teaching a little bit more regularly. And yeah. Exactly, because yeah. you're still young. You still got the whole life ahead of you, anyway. I feel I feel that way. Yes. <laughs> Give you a reading right on air here. <laughs> Shut up, Jenny. <laughs> now we have another caller, and that caller would be Earl. Mm. Earl, you have a question for us. How are you? I'm really good. How are you? I'm great. Thanks for taking my call. I appreciate it. You're welcome. And you have a question for us. I do have a question. Actually, uh, to begin with, I'm a very, very big fan of Oliver. Yes. Actually, me and my fiance Jody have uh, caught your appearances on a number of different occasions, and we're quite happy to wow. see Thank you every you so time much, you uh, put on the show. Yes. Wow. Had to have Oliver. Thank on. you so much. Thank you for your support. Really. Thank my, you so much. My question is uh, a little bit off the wall here, but never if, off the wall with me. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me. <laughs> If uh, if all of the instruments that you played somehow turned into exotic animals, what would they be? Oh, exotic good. animals. Oh, good question. Wow. Good question. I love animals, as a matter of fact. Um, wow. Wow. Well, eh? I think of the saxophone as very sultry, very. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's a very sultry, very sensual instrument. Mm -hmm. I don't yeah. know what kind of animal is that, but maybe yeah. like. Oh man, I was gonna say a lion. Oh, that's a, fem a female lion. A female I? lion. Wow. You know, the one that goes and gets everything done. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and the the, the keyboard maybe yeah. it, it can fit in there. It kind of provides support. It's wow. Wow. <laughs> really wow. Okay, well the bass. Let's talk about the bass. The bass is 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 the elephant. Okay. You can't, the elephant in the room, you can't... Okay, there we go. It's the most obvious thing to me when I listen to the music. The bass is, is something yeah. that my ears gravitate to because it's so important, so large to me. Uh, the percussion, the percussions are the monkeys. Oh, they're running yes. wild everywhere. Okay. And they're doing such fun things all the time. They're just fun to watch, fun to listen to. Um, I think, that, what is there? Is there a guitar? Guitars again, it's, it's like a female. I don't know, yeah. a guitar is a female thing. <laughs> feline. There you go. Feline. I think that's a, that's a good try. That's a great yeah. question, <laughs> Earl. Yes. Thank you for asking that, Earl. That was <laughs> thank fun. Thank you. That was, that was fun. fun. Yes, thank you for asking that. And we appreciate you calling. Yes. Thank you for calling. Have a calling. wonderful day. Oliver's thank you. Oliver's going to be playing the last couple of minutes of the show, too, so everybody stay tuned. And we have... Um, another caller too. Great. And that caller is Janet. 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 Hello. You have a. Hey, Oliver. Hi, Janet. How are you doing? Awesome. How are you doing? Great. I've had the pleasure to listen to Oliver play for years at the center that he mentioned. Um, wow. And he's so talented. But I also want to ask because um, another gift that he has is he's always happy. He's always smiling. And his face is always full of light, and that's a gift on every Sunday. Wow. I just love watching him as yes. well as listening to him. Thank and you, And I want to know, what do you do to stay so happy all the time? I've never seen you down. I've never right. seen you in a bad mood. Wow. You're always smiling. Thank you, Janet. Um, I can definitely answer that. That's a wonderful, wonderful, kind, kind comment from you. Um, well, on my email... Jenny, as you may remember when we were corresponding, yeah. I'm below my name. It doesn't say that I'm a musician. It doesn't say that I do anything to do with music. However, it says I'm a ridiculously happy individual, yeah. in quotations. And that's a friend of mine who, who told me uh, to write that instead of, I, I had something else before, which also had nothing to do with music. <laughs> and I, that's below my name, and I kind of live by that. I, I, do, um, I do certain things that I have learned over the years, um, besides maybe having a natural 
energy towards happiness yes. and being positive. I am also very conscious of things that I'm doing and, and I'm very grateful. Like every day I feel a sense of gratefulness regularly throughout the day. And because of that, I always seem to be in a pretty good mood because everything is a gift. Mm -hmm. And even my time here on, on, in this planet, on this experience, is a gift. And, and I don't take that for granted. Yes. And I'm grateful for that every day and for the people around me yes. and for the music that I get to explore. So having that kind of uh, energy, that gratefulness um, on a regular basis for the littlest things allows me to, to just see things in a different way mm. and, and gives me that clarity that I, that I the way I see yeah. that is clarity for me for what a gift life is and uh, even on my bad days which I do have definitely <laughs> I'm grateful for those because then I yeah. appreciate the good days even more yes absolutely if see, you can believe that's wonderful that. no that's great thank you Janet that, that's, that's very kind and very nice question and thank you for listening you. to thanks. my music thank and you. Yes. every week <laughs> thank you, Janet. thanks for calling in Janet thank yeah, you you're so welcome. much night. Good night. Good night. And we have time just for one more call. And um, that call, kind of a quick question here, May. And you have a question for us. Uh, yes, I do. Uh, could you tell me um, how my year is going to uh, begin in New Year? Um, I, actually, right away what I was picking up on. Um, I, when was the last time you had a checkup? Oh, about a year ago. Yeah, you should go get another checkup again, just a yearly type of checkup for yourself, because um, I kind of felt like your immune system getting down a little bit low for some reason. Your right? what? Um, your immune system kind of starting to go down a little bit. Uh-huh. Right? Um, so just kind of really watch your health right now, like colds and flus, but it's, it's, it, I'm feeling it like kind of a little bit of bronchular in the chest that might come up, so... So be very, very careful, right? The new, the new year for you, um, I don't see like a lot of new things happening, really. I really don't with you. It just really depends what you want to do. I keep on hearing the, the May being circled, the month of May being circled for you. May being circled. Yeah, circle, May being circled. And I'm actually getting the, the wrap-up sign already. May, I feel, you know, like, and thank you for calling in. I wish I could spend more time with you. But, but what we're going to do now is to end the show here um, with Oliver Miguel. He is going to play us a number as we're leaving the show. And thank you, everybody, for tuning in. This is Jenny Cousins live here at Shaw TV with, <laughs> with Oliver Miguel. Thank you for having me, Jenny. You're welcome. <laughs> The proceeding was a community access program. Shaw is proud to support local producers and share local voices, ideas, and opinions. For more information, please visit shawtv.ca. Opinions expressed in this programming do not necessarily reflect the views of Shaw or its employees. The following is a community access program. Shaw is proud to support local producers and share local voices, ideas, and opinions. For more information, please visit shawtv.ca. Opinions expressed in this programming do not necessarily reflect the views of Shaw or its employees.
welcome to the Canadian Scrapbookers Technique Tasters. I am so excited for today's show because we have the lovely Christy Riopel. Christy Riopel has been designing for Canadian Scrapbooker Magazine sincerely since the beginning of time. And it's just an absolute pleasure to have you here. And we have to be really nice to her so that she comes back. <laughs> Having me. You're welcome. Our pleasure. Christy, you created this gorgeous layout using dyes, and I think the focus of it is going to be this uh, geranium flower. Is that yes. correct? Yes. Okay. Do you want to start off by sh um, telling us some of the supplies that you used? 